is the terrifying lion attack on zookeeper Leon Van Biljon. Welcome to Wild Assault. In Hammondskraal, 30 miles north of Pretoria, South Africa, is the Mahala View Lion Game Lodge. Today, it offers a variety of self-catering lodges with views of the surrounding forest and the adjacent Dino King Game Reserve. Small game like Impala and Kudu can be seen on site, and the Big Five can be seen in the neighboring reserve. People can escape the bustle of the metropolis and find peace and tranquility within the relative oasis. The site used to be most famous as the home of the Lion Man, Leon Van Biljon. There were three lions that were the primary attraction. They were identified as Rambo, Katrin, and Nikita. And Leon offered lion walking tours in which he provided a detailed lecture on lions before escorting guests to the enclosure to view the animals. The lions were partially domesticated. They had spent the majority of their lives on the reservation. Leon and his family had relocated into the lodge in 1985. In the past, it was just an open field. However, Leon took the time to introduce wildlife to his property. He constructed lodges for visitors and offered game excursions. His children were raised there and business was thriving. He purchased three lion cubs in 2006. He spent the entire day with them and often slept in their enclosure until dawn. Even though he already had two daughters, Leon treated the three cubs as his own. He was devoted to them and they followed him out of loyalty. At least for the first 13 years of their existence, they were lodge residents. Lions are capable of caring for lion offspring. Through them, he was able to enlighten people and aid in the conservation of these remarkable animals. He was obviously devoted to his lions. He gave visitors the opportunity to view the apex predators with only thin wires separating them. Leon would converse with visitors while petting the lion's fur inside their enclosure, commanding the respect of the lions. He gave lectures on the significance of these fascinating animals and permitted visitors to observe their feedings. Guests would unwind in their lodges at night while listening to the lions roar, moaning and groaning reverberate across the adjacent reserve. The experience was magical for the guests. The lodge looked out over the adjacent Dino King Game Reserve, where famous lion whisperer Kevin Richardson lived with his lions. Leon was not the only man who had a special relationship with his lions and used that relationship to educate and inspire the public. Leon was a senior citizen. He recently put the website up for sale in order to retire. Now that he had worked his entire life, he could enjoy his time with his growing family. He was now a grandfather and a great-grandfather, and his work with the lions and at the lodge concluded on August 20th, 2019. It did conclude, but not as Leon had anticipated. Even in his 70s, he was still known as the Lion Man and offered daily talks and game drives in the reserve. He was responsible for more than just the lion's well-being and welfare. He was also responsible for the site's maintenance. Along the perimeter of the lion enclosure's fencing, Leon observed a section that required repair. As usual, he entered the enclosure and made his presence known to the big cats by looking at them, all three of them. He did not observe anything peculiar. Rambo, Katrin, and Nikita have just witnessed their owner open and close the security gate. He had completed this task a million times before he approached the damaged fence with composure and inspected it. Then he committed a fatal error. Whether complacency overcame him or he had performed the task hundreds of times previously, we cannot say. However, he turned away from the three lions and knelt on the ground. This was the error and it was the last error Leon would ever make. Seeing Leon in such a precarious position seemed to trigger a switch in one of the lions, as if it were dinner time. Its eyes were fixed on its owner. It didn't hesitate. Instead, it ran at Leon and pounced on top of him within minutes. Leon neither saw nor heard it approaching. It occurred with lightning speed. The lion launched itself onto Leon's back after leaping from one of the enclosure's platforms. It instinctively targeted his neck. Its enormous jaws opened wide before closing with 650 PSI of pressure around his throat. With a single bite, its four-inch canines severed muscle and artery. In the subsequent seconds, Leon managed to emit a cry. The staff heard this and rushed to the scene. They were astounded by what they saw. 
They immediately shot the lion that was on Leon. Then they shot a second individual standing mere feet away. However, it was too late. Leon was lying still on the ground. Blood flowed from the open wound on his neck. He uttered no sound. He had died. The other staff members attempted to reach him, but a third lion in the enclosure prevented them from getting a clear shot. The emergency services were contacted, but there was nothing anyone could do. The third lion was ultimately killed so that paramedics could enter the enclosure and treat Leon. He was unable to be revived. The bite to his neck was devastating. The attack was a complete surprise, and it occurred so suddenly. Leon had momentarily removed his gaze from the cats. He had committed the fatal error of stooping with his back. The lion's instincts took over, and he attacks. It is very easy to develop a false sense of security when working with animals you have known for a long time. Leon had raised these lions from cubhood. He had cradled them in his arms and slept alongside them. They knew him thoroughly, and he believed he knew them as well. It was a tragic occurrence that Leon never anticipated. He entrusted his life to the big cats. Every time he entered their enclosure, he was reminded that no matter how accustomed an animal may be, it is still a wild animal and must be treated as such. Deep instinct exists. It cannot be removed from the DNA of an animal. Now, not only has Leon lost his life, but also three lions have perished. Similar attacks have occurred before. In captivity, lions appear to be the least predictable of the big cats. 60% of all attacks by captive big cats are perpetrated by captive lions, as opposed to captive cheetahs, tigers, mountain lions, or jaguars. Lion's family has stated that, after the initial shock and devastation that followed his death, they are now at peace with what transpired. They were comforted by the fact that Leon died doing what he loved in a place he loved with animals he loved. Since 1996, there were 40 incidents in South African captive carnivore facilities at the time of Leon's attack in 2019. 13 of those were fatalities. Fiona Miles, director of the Animal Welfare Organization for Paws, stated that in facilities with frequent human-animal interaction, animals appeared to have reached their breaking point and lashed out. Although it is reasonable to assume that animals with regular human contact would be less aggressive towards humans, in some instances, the opposite appears to be true. Leon clearly loves his three lions so much that he refers to them as his children. They had not been raised for hunting and had spent the majority of their lives free.